Hey fans, people in the web, it's me, some of us G1, back for another Star Trek, the official Starships collection review. This time we're doing another issue number 103. Yes, I am a little bit behind, um, as everybody knows, if you've watched my other videos. Um, come back from TFN, a little bit skin, a little bit, um, um, you know, and then just working constantly. Um, I'm still waiting for my other ships, actually, which I ordered before I went to TFN, and they still haven't shown up yet. Uh, I'm going to ring them on Monday if they haven't shown up yet, um, because I'm getting a little tired of, of, of waiting, constantly waiting. Anywho, I'm not getting into that right now. I'm going to be doing issue number 103, the Vidian Warship. Um, as per usual, we get a nice glossy magazine, and we get the ship. As always, more on that in a little while. So, the Vidian Warship is operated by the Vidian Sodality type warship in operation 2370s, location Delta Quadrant, uh, length 300 meters, pretty big then. Um, what, top speed 9.6, weaponry. Particle beam emitters and torpedo launchers. Uh, I do believe hypothermic charges were used as well. Um, we get a beautiful CG shot of the ship there. Um, exactly the same one that's on the front cover, but reversed. But that's not a bad thing. Uh, Medividians served as uh, Honatas. The term to an individual whose duty was to obtain organs for, other, uh, for another Vidian who was afflicted by the phage. The Vidian warship looked like it had pincers on the front, and it could uh, pins on the front, and it presented in a menacing demeanour. It was certainly a ship to be wary of, as the Vidians used used it to uh, neutralise other starships, so they could abduct the crews. These captives were then used for uh, medical experiments, and their organs were even harvested to help phage affected phage affected. Uh, start again. Phage infected Vidians alive. Vidians who suffered from the phage had alien skin grafted to their own, giving them a hideous appearance. The disease was uh, effect also affected their organs in order to prolong their lives. They harvested body parts from other species. Um, they preferred to use corpses, but they could take, but they would take uh, organs from living bodies if necessary. And then we've got some uh, images from various episodes that they appear. Um, so you can see how big the Vidian warship is. I was looming over the Starship Voyager there. Um, is that the same ship or is that the big bastard one? Actually, it might be the big bastard one. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got different images of the sh ships there attacking Voyager and stuff. Uh, Denara Pell was a Vidian. A Vidian doctor who had been suffering from the phage ever since since the age of seven. In 2372, she was near death when Voyager answered her distress call. The doctor put her body in stasis while transferring her mind into a holographic body. Um, the two fell in love while working together and they successfully came up with a way to prolong her life. She returned to her own people to continue her efforts to cure the phage. And then we get the topographical view there. Just the top view and the front view this week. And then we've got, weirdly, we've got close-up views there. Um, mm, bit odd, that. Um, the government of Vidian so uh, Society was known to be Vidian, uh, known as the Vidian Sodality. One of the most important people in their administration was Sulan, who was chief surgeon in 2371, used the device known as a, a Genotron to extract from Belana Torres, extract DNA from Belana Torres, he then produced a fully Klingon version of her and believed Klingon DNA was resistant to the phage and might provide a cure. Mm. As you do. As you do. Um, before the phage infected the Vidians, the species was known as a great educators, explorers and, and above all artists. Their disease had changed the society and they became better known for their medical expertise. In 2075, the think tank, diverse group of alien scholars who travelled the galaxy solving problems for a price, claimed to have cured the Vidians of their deadly phage. 2371, a Vidian named Dareth stole uh, Neelix's lungs and implanted them into, the, into his friend Motura's body using the device that could be transport organs directly from one person to another. In order to save Neelix's life, Kess agreed to donate one of her lungs to him and the Vidians perform the complex operation. 
and then we've got the studio model which looks more pink than it does like sort of terracotta um the the building of models um is a lot of that it really is i mean look at the detail on this this is just fantastic like i say it looks more pink than it does um sort of terracotta but again that's what it looks like uh, in real life and then when they film it from different angles using different light sources and that it appears a different color on, on screen um so yeah it's pretty cool i like it um I always like the designing um, elements of this book, uh, this magazine. This is one of the reasons why I've continued to subscribe as long as I have. Um, and then we're into Star Trek makeup. Um, Michael Westmore created some incredible looking aliens, including the gruesome Vidians. Yeah, and it's going into a uh, Michael Westmore um, uh, makeup artist. And he's responsible for pretty much everything. Borg, Cardassians, Klingons, Romulans, um, Vidians, Hirogen... Um, Ferengi, Jem'Hadar, Founders, um, you name it, you know, at, uh, uh, Talaxians, Vulcans, um, you know, Trill, um, everything, pretty much, um, yeah, then we've got, um, like, Gullamek there, and then we've got, um, I believe he's 15 of 17, I think, um, you know, Borg drones, um, Dinar Appel, you know, as a hologram version of a, a cured self. And the Vidians are quite nice looking. She is particularly nice looking. And I believe she played um, Sam Beckett's wife in Quantum Leap. So, oh yeah. Yeah, he's done Gem Hadar, he's done Hirogen, he's done uh, the old makeup for Picard in The Inner Light. Um, and yet. Picard is uh, Picard. Patrick Stewart is of that age now, and yet he doesn't he doesn't look nearly as decrepit as this guy. Uh, he's also done, did the Zindi uh, as well. That's uh, Commander Dolum. Um, so yeah, he, he got about. He did it pretty much everything. And then we've got on screen first appearance is Resolutions, um, which is the episode where Chakoti and Janeway are trapped on that planet because of an insect bite. It's like the last episode before the basics, I believe, in season two. It's not a good episode, if I'm honest. Um, Alan Sim, who was property master on Star Trek Voyager, was responsible for finding an alien primate for the episode Resolutions. He was... which This was easier said than done. He found the spider monkey that would, would work on its hind, walk on its hind legs at first. Producer Rick Berman was not convinced that he could look alien enough. Uh, until he saw photographs of what he could do, Berman immediately sp uh, satisfied and said, "That looks alien enough for me. Book him." Um, Susan Diol um, reprised the role as a Vidian Denari Pelling Resolutions after playing the character in the episode Life Signs. The actress also played um, uh, Carmen Davala, a Victor Davala, in Star Trek: Next Generation episode Silicon Avatar. Um, the Star Trek Voyager episode Coda was written by Jerry Taylor including elements of a story that had been previously established in her novel Mosaic that dealt with events in Janeway's life before she became captain for instance uh, included her father uh, drowned under the polar ice cap on Tau City Prime so there you go and then we've got top view on the back there so that's pretty nice so Onto the ship itself now, now boys and girls, now um, this is really nice. Um, this is a really nice ship, um, and it. Now the one thing I do, I am going to say, it is lacking a bit of definition underneath there, just around this area. It looks a bit plain. There's no clear plastic, which they should have put in the warp nacelles there and the impulse engines at the back there. Um, but other than that, it's really nice. The join line is a little bit pronounced on mine, about here. But you've got some nice moulded detail there. You've got some nice moulded detail in the wings there. The bridge is nicely defined, and this thing looks like it could, you know dangerous you've got the near navigational deflector dish there which should have been clear plastic as well but this is a very very nice ship i really do like it a lot 
Um, it's nice we got some sort of early, some sort. It's nice we got some early Voyager stuff because um, that's what's been lacking in this um, collection. There's been a lot of late stuff, but most, in fact, a lot of Voyager has been been um, been lacking. And we we have got Bulk Tactical Cube and PC Eight Four Seven Two Bio Ship and um, the Krenum Imperium um, weapon ship. We still got thinking, but we still got well, the Kazon warship is now out. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to see. It's a really nice design. Um, you know, it's two out the big gaps in the in the side there. Hello, you can see me through there. Hello, um, but it's real nice. Um, like I say, just the only the only letdown I've got in it is just a bit of definition on the bottom there. It seems a bit plain, just about here. Uh, I don't know wait a minute. Um, oh yeah, got some uh, Aztec going on there. I didn't see that before. Well, who knew? I think you can see it, yeah. Um, just clear plastic in the nacelles. That's that's it, really. I'll take my... Um, yeah, it's got some nice Aztec in on it, actually. Um, you can't really see it in this light. Oh, no, there we are. Yeah, there you can see it. But a really nice, really nice ship. I really do like this one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Why can't all of them be this good, you know? Except just the clear plastic in there and there would have been the icing on the cake. Now... The stand, I have an issue with, but it can be rectified. Now, you get the stand, and on the bottom, as usual, it says, uh, so that down even, it says Vidian warship, uh, Vidian vessel, actually, on the bottom. Now, you put the, the ship, if you face it that way, and then slide it on like that, that is right. That sits on the stand perfect, and it's in the right place, and it, it, it looks good. It really looks good. I mean, it's a nice addition to um, your alien ships and if you're collecting alien ships and if you're a Voyager fan you should totally pick this up um, like I say the only letdown is the clear in the nacelles um, but you know that is just a minor hiccup there um, but then that's really good really like it it'd be nice if it just had a little bit of a darker wash on it because on the on camera it looks a little bit too uh, bright but in actual proper light, it looks okay. It looks really good. So, yeah, so that's me. That's the Vidian warship. Tune in next time um, for when I get, I think it's the gin, oh, the combat vessel, I think, is the next one. Um, because I'm a little bit behind, and I do apologise about that. But, you know, life sometimes gets in the way. But, rest assured, I will be getting everything. And I have ordered my um, Titan, so hopefully that should come soon. My Mirror Defiant and Starbase K7 and the drone um, swarm ship from Dark from Beyond. So, and the shuttles. I haven't ordered them yet, um, but they are... Just still a touch expensive. Um, if I can sort some out, if I can work a deal out with somebody, I'll sort that out. But rest assured, I will be reviewing everything. And I'm going to leave the large scale enterprises for now. I will be buying them, but I'm just going to get the main bulk of the collection first before I start getting those as well. Um, and so probably towards the end of the collection, because I know they've announced that they they are doing the Discovery ships as well, uh, which should be cool. Um, and it starts soon, yeah, two weeks. So looking forward to that. I really hope it doesn't suck. I really want to sit here and go, it was brilliant. I loved it. It looks fantastic. Um, and it was fantastic. And I don't want to be sat here going, it was shit. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I want it to be good. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the the um, larger scale enterprises um, for now. Um, depends how depends how work is, and if I get paid more and do more hours and stuff, like that, I might buy the odd one here and there and throw the throw the review in. So they will be coming, don't worry, but just not at the moment. So. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to this video. Um, please, if you would like to donate to Patreon, if I can work out how to fucking put the link into here, would be great. Because um, I still don't know how to do it. I, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so please like, share and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell to tell me when... Um, uh, to tell you when I've got new content out and there will be more content, rest assured. And, um, and I shall catch you all later. Bye for now.